Hey masters, welcome back to Joint Media. Welcome back to another video of Postman today and how to use Postman with Docker. We're gonna be using this Do Newman Docker image uh, from the, well, actually Docker Hub, the official repository from Postman, right? And we're gonna be learning how to execute our collection with environment variables and also a final report using this beautiful image that's, that actually is ready to be used. Um, we're gonna be doing this step by step, so please watch it until, until the end if you want to learn every single detail of this, okay? I just wanted to also mention that if you wanna come here to my channel and look in my playlist a Postman course or API testing using Postman, you're gonna learn how to well create a collection, how to use collection variables, use authentication types, in this case a bird token, and also how to use Newman and Jenkins to integrate this in a well CI CD a demo environment okay <laughs> that's cool let's go ahead and continue with with docker and newman okay so as you can see here we're gonna we have a kind of introduction here uh, about what is newman and what is docker okay so what is newman basically newman as we saw in the last video is a common line collection runner for postman it allows you to run and test a postman collection directly from the command line it is important right and well what is docker or what uh, why is why is important docker basically docker allows you to package an application with all of its dependencies into a standardized unit of software development basically you can have a kind of mini operating systems with all the dependencies right <laughs> in a simple terms i know i'm simplifying this but it is a, a well kind of better understanding if i explain that in this way um, you're gonna have like uh, containers where with all the dependencies that you need in order to run well any, as you can see, as, as actually the, the, the concept here is uh, any kind of unit for software development. In this case, we are going to be executing Postman inside of a container. We're going to be sending our collection using a volume that you're going to see in a few seconds. And well, uh, we can execute that in a particular container. We don't need to, well, waste our resources in our computer. And if you need to, uh, well, share this with other peers, it is gonna be a standard environment and we are not gonna have kind of uh, differences between them, right? You're gonna have this executed correctly, no matter where it is executed, that's important, okay? Um, so let's go ahead and download the, the Postman Newman uh, image as you can see the command is docker pool postman dash slash newman i just have to copy this and well go ahead open my desktop and the folder where you have my collection and my environment uh, file okay i'm gonna open up cmd over here and i'm gonna be executing postman i'm sorry it, it didn't work docker pool postman newman there it is and well it is gonna be that connecting to the docker pool or actually docker hub and well if i execute docker images again you can see that i have postman human uh, image and the tag is the latest okay that's important let's take a look of the docker uh, official or actually the newman official uh, repository and as you can see inside of the folder docker we have images and we have the alpine which is the one that i think uh, it is the official one right now and if I take a look of the Docker uh, file, you can see that it is using Alpine. Um, inside of the Alpine, it is executing or running the installation of Newman globally. That's important. And then we have a work directory, which is important because we're going to use this as or actually to map a, a, a volume, right? Remember this, we're going to come back to this particular uh, path. And then we have an entry point, which in this case is Newman. So. Uh, as if you remember from the last video about Postman locally in Newman, we need Newman run in order to execute uh, our collection by uh, CLI, right? In this case, well, we have Newman already declared. Then we have to send uh, run the collection name and the environment uh, file, okay? So let's continue and try to well do this step by step. I'm gonna go again to my CMD and here what I'm gonna do, do is actually, um, well, I'm gonna be doing a Docker run because that's the the standard command to run a container, as you know. And um, the next step that we have to do is declare a volume with dash V. 
that's important. Here we have to uh, specify our local path, okay? And then after a double dots, we have to specify the work directory that um, it is, is inside of the container. So as you know, probably if you remember correctly, this is the work directory that we have to send after the double dots, okay? But let's start from, from scratch. How we can say that um, this is the path that I want to use uh, when I run the Docker container automatically. Well, the, 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 the command is this one, okay? Is doc, um, percent sign over here, and then we have to use the word CD. It is gonna be actually the same stuff as if I declare C users my name desktop postman demo, which is this part over here, right? So with CD, it, it, we accomplish the same stuff. So double dots, and then as you remember correctly, I just have to copy and paste the work directory inside of the container. That's cool. Then we have to use the dash T in order to, well, call the Docker image that we want to run. In this case is Postman, Newman. And well, with double dots, we can specify the tag over here. That's cool. Then, um, well, we have to use the word run. Why? You might be wondering why? Cause we already have Newman over here. We have to specify the next parameters. In this case is run. And then we have to specify the collection name and the type file, right? So we can do this that JSON and there it is if I run this you're gonna see that it is gonna be executed however we're gonna have in uh, well some kind of issues and it is because we are not providing the environment variables if you uh, actually if you remember correctly right so we just have to send the dash e environment which means environment and then the environment file that I have over here okay there it is JSON and well, probably we're gonna have this working correctly. There it is. We are. We have all the, the requests working fine. All the tests are in green. It means that it's, it's correct and everything is working fine. Uh, I just want to check this official documentation over here. Let me show you that. And let's read this statement. You are not required to mount a volume if you don't need to save a new report to the host. That's important. And your collection is available online. All right, it means that you can come here to Postman, well, sign in and, and synchronize your uh, data and come here, click on share and get the Postman collection via a JSON link. That's also possible. However, let's continue reading the statement. Unless your collection requires an environment, as environments cannot be passed as URLs. So. Uh, you can share your collection link however you can come here to the environments part and I come here and I click on share you can see that I only can share my workspace I cannot share my JSON or actually well my 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 environments via, via a JSON uh, URL okay that's important and that's something that you have to well take in, in account okay so um, in this case uh, if we take a look of the official repository okay and if i come here let me come back i'm sorry if i come back and i check the using reporters with newman you can see that newman has a uh, some inbuilt reporters okay uh, some of them are CLI, JSON, JUnit, Progress, and Emoji Train. So in this case, I want to generate a JSON file with all the results automatically. And if you remember correctly, if I explained myself correctly too, <laughs> we are mapping our volume, right? Using CD, which means this path. And uh, we are also specifying the work directory inside of the container. So. As soon as we generate a report in the container, this volume is going to have like communication. So uh, the report is going to be available in our computer. That's important. So that's that's the way that we can persist our data in our local computer. So let's go ahead and, and show you this. Um, uh, if I do this, let me show you this. This is the, the kind of syntax that we have to use in order to generate uh, an inbuilt uh, report. So let's go ahead and do it. Let's take a look of this. We have to specify reporters. 
then specify the type of reported portrait that we want to use in this case i want to use a json one i and i don't know why yeah there it is json and then i'm gonna try to minimize this so we can take a look of what i'm doing and then I, after i specify a json well i'm gonna uh, perform a space and then i have to use the, the the next syntax over here which is reporter um in this case i i need to get a json reporter and also exports okay export i'm sorry and then inside of a kind of a string um syntax we have to specify the name of the uh, final report in this case newman report json okay that json and if i execute this probably and i hope so we're gonna we are not gonna have like locks in in the um, well in the in the container if you remember correctly but if i check the folder you can see that now we have a json file here and if i open this with visual studio code let me see if i can choose that um, mm -hmm. there it is you can see that here we have all the information that we need we have the collection part we have the environment we have the globals we have the run this the, for example here we have the tests we have four we have the assertions and all the informations that we can get uh, well using the inbuilt reporter as i'm telling you if you want to generate an html report probably you are going to have to come here uh, modify your docker uh, docker file right and it will build your own image because well by default it is not possible but it can be done and if you want to check that with me please let me know in the comment section and please uh, well actually if, if there is a, a kind of free time for me i'll, I'll try to build uh, the change and uh, we'll see how it works uh, so guys i hope that you enjoyed this um i think that we have uh, well actually covered a lot of postman um information right i think that you are capable to uh, well at least do some basic stuff and if you want to try to research more about it well you're gonna have a lot of facilities because you know how to work with postman uh, well uh, with this series of videos so thank you very much guys this was your media hope that you enjoyed this and see you in the next one uh, well goodbye thank you masters bye